What's going on everyone? I'm Neil Lotto, and for today's video, we're going to be discussing the upcoming Bronco Warthog. For those of you who don't know, Ford recently revealed that they're working on a high performance variant of the Bronco, and the release is just right around the corner. This is going to be an SUV like we've never seen before, and I'll explain all the details throughout this video. So without further ado, let's just get started. All right, so you're probably all wondering, why the name Warthog? What is it that makes this vehicle so special? Well, the Warthog is going to be the Halo model in the Bronco lineup. This means it will have exclusive features not found on any other Bronco model. For starters, take a look at the vehicle's stance. The Warthog has a much wider body than the regular Bronco, and it's paired with these extra wide fender flares. On top of that, the tires on this thing are massive. Ford announced in an official tweet, testing 37 inch hooves, future weekends are about to get a lot better. I mean, it's cool enough that the regular Bronco can be optioned with the Sasquatch package, which comes with the 35 inch tires, but 37 inch tires, that's on a whole other level. You know, it's one thing to talk about tire sizes online, but to see them in person, you realize just how big they actually are. And to think they're gonna put even larger tires on is just insane. Now for the longest time, it was speculated that Ford would use the Raptor moniker, calling it the Bronco Raptor. So far they've had the F-150 Raptor, the Ranger Raptor, it would only seem natural for them to have a Bronco Raptor. But that's not the case, let's take a closer look. Now interestingly enough, one of the earliest mentions of the Bronco Raptor name was found on a LinkedIn profile. Back in August, a Ford engineer had written in his bio that he is currently involved with designing the EDS system for, get this, the 2023 Bronco Raptor. But as soon as the news started to pick up on this story, the profile was quickly updated, with no more mentioning of a Bronco Raptor. Seems a little suspicious if you'd ask me. At this point, everyone was convinced it's going to be the Bronco Raptor. It just makes sense. But the very next month, Ford trademarked the Warthog name. This was discovered on the United States Patent and Trademark Office website, and it suggests that Ford is planning on using this name. On top of this evidence, many people have seen wow, the prototypes out testing on the streets, with some photos revealing Warthog written on the components in very small writing. It would seem that Ford was originally planning on calling it the Bronco Raptor, but later changed their mind to Warthog. But what is the reasoning for this? Well, I think the answer is pretty obvious. It's no secret that Ford is positioning Bronco as its own unique brand of off-road vehicles. And while the Raptor nameplate works fine for the F-150 and the Ranger, it just doesn't fit with the Bronco. Bronco Warthog, it just sounds better. And it fits the description of the vehicle. So let's dissect everything we know about the Warthog. First off, it's going to have a bigger engine. The most likely candidate is the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. This is the same engine found in the F-150 Raptor. It makes 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque. But Ford is going to release a new F-150 Raptor in the next year or so, and it's very likely they'll increase the power for the new generation. If this is the case, we may see that engine put in the Warthog as well. In a previous video, I discussed how the F-150 Raptor might get a V8 engine. This would be direct competition to the Ram TRX, the first real threat to the F-150 Raptor. The Ram TRX has a V8 making over 700 horsepower. And what's even more insulting is that if you look under the hood, there's these decorations, I guess you could call them Easter eggs. It shows Tyrannosaurus Rex eating a raptor. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. And this picture is even funnier. You got a Tyrannosaurus Rex chasing this tiny little raptor. I mean, this pretty much sums it up. Despite all this, Ford still may put a 3.5 liter V6 in both the Raptor and the Warthog. But what if Ford does pursue the V8 option? If they were to put the V8 in both the Raptor and the Warthog, it would be an epic response to the Ram TRX. Now, much like the Raptor F-150, the Warthog is going to have an aggressive stance. It will have wider fender flares and large tires. The Warthog will also share more or less the same suspension system as the Raptor. This includes Fox Racing live valve shocks, which are electronically controlled and have the ability to change the damping compression. 
So in other words, that explains why this Bronco Warthog is in the air. It has a special suspension system that's capable of handling such a stunt. And let's not forget about those large tires. The Raptor F-150 comes with 34-inch tires, but the Warthog is going to be available with 37-inch tires. These are BF Goodrich KO2 all-terrain tires. The icing on the cake is the extra-wide body kit. This thing is going to be a beast, especially if it's paired with a V8 engine. So we know the Bronco Warthog is coming, but how soon will it be released? Well, based off all the evidence we've seen so far, the Warthog will most likely be released for the 2023 model year. But insiders are claiming it might come even sooner. Understand that Ford is coming after Jeep with the Bronco lineup. Jeep vehicles are extremely popular, with the Wrangler being one of its biggest sellers. Over the past decade, Wrangler sales have increased dramatically. The market is craving these off-road focused vehicles, and Ford knows it. They want a piece of the action and to steal customers from Jeep. But Jeep's not going to let this happen without a fight. Back in July, when the Bronco lineup was officially revealed, Jeep released a string of commercials in an attempt to poke fun at the Bronco. Their ultimate goal was to distract people from the Bronco announcement, and they did so by revealing the Wrangler 392 concept. It's a Wrangler model with a V8 engine. It's been 40 years since Jeep last had a V8 in the Wrangler. At first, people thought this was only a concept to steal attention from the Bronco. Jeep had no intentions of releasing it. But that couldn't be further than the truth. Shortly after, Jeep made it official, the 392 concept would become a reality and would be produced 2021. Now because of Jeep's announcement, Bronco must have a vehicle in the lineup to compete with it, and that vehicle will be the Warthog. And what's crazy is this is only the beginning. Bronco will have four vehicles in the lineup to compete with Jeep vehicles. And before long, there's going to be a Bronco pickup to compete directly with the Gladiator, bringing it to a total of five vehicles competing directly with Jeep. If Ford is successful, they will put a huge dent in Jeep sales. Now, all this information about the Warthog seems promising, but understand we're still waiting for the two-door and four-door models to arrive. For those of you unaware, the Bronco Sport has already arrived at dealerships, and I've seen some in person, and they look pretty good. But the two-door and four-door models have been delayed and are currently scheduled to reach customers by summer 2021. That's a long time to wait. And what's even worse is that with so many reservations, Ford is saying you may end up receiving a 2022 model. So this means that reservation holders from the very beginning might have to wait two years or more before they see their Broncos. As a direct result, many people are starting to lose their patience with Ford and are dropping their reservations to purchase other vehicles. And I can't say I blame them. Having to place a reservation only to wait two years or more for your vehicle to arrive, there's so much that can change in that time. Another reason that people are dropping their reservations is because they want to wait for the Warthog. I mean, think about it. Customers that have reserved the most expensive Bronco models are realizing they may not even receive their vehicle until 2022. And by that time, the Warthog will shortly be revealed and released later that year. Assuming that you can find a dealer willing to sell the Warthog at MSRP, it would make a lot more sense to wait. It's more than likely that the Warthog will be priced a lot like how the Raptor is priced. It would start around 55000 but would grow as you add more options. I'm not putting down any of the other Bronco trims. I think they're fantastic. But understand, if you're somebody that wants to get the most powerful Bronco model, the Warthog release is right around the corner. This is such an exciting time for the Bronco brand, and I can't wait to hear all the details about this new Warthog. Because if something is going to be called a Bronco, it better be able to live up to that name. So there you have it, folks. What do you think about the Bronco Warthog? Is it going to get a V8 engine? I certainly hope so, and it's always a possibility considering the Raptor is going to get one. So we'll just have to wait and see. I'm Neo Otto, and thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to keep up to date with the latest car news, and I'll see you real soon. Take care.